you do, it's just for me, it's Scotty McClure. Now you'll be wondering what on earth's happening tonight because you've already seen me earlier this evening. This is just a quick late night pop-up to tell you the good news. Tonight's shows have been an incredible success and I am getting so much feedback from all you wonderful people via the email of course bookings at scotty mcclue.com and uh, also a lot of uh, personal calls and what have you just to say thank you thank you thank you so it's my turn to say thank you thank you thank you to you for putting up with me a scotty mcclue tremendous stuff excellent stuff and as i say if you saw the show earlier you'll know exactly what i'm talking about just a terrific success it's just great to have you all with us and i wanted to say thank you for that because it really is massive so there you are tonight of course we're talking about the summit between um, kim and trump and uh, i was asking every single one of you particularly our american audience has Trump been forgiven all by those who weren't so keen on him being the president in the first place? Has he sorted that out? Andy Seagull's still with us. Thank you, Andy. Lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome, of course. You'll not be used to seeing me um, at this time, but nevertheless, it's the pop-up. And as I say, they are unannounced because we're working out the optimum time for audiences. Debs Crumbie's with us. Thank you, do, Debs. Lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClue. And we are, of course, live on the big one, just by way of a quick pop-up to say dinky do and thank you very much for such a fabulous program tonight for all your participation etc etc robert mcharty thank you very much a big thank you to you as well all you guys are absolutely amazing it's been terrific i can't thank you enough for the response and for the feedback i was quite humbled by it all actually i don't like to think of myself as too humble of course although i may well be the most humble man in the world as well as being the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet. So there you are. Jared Kerr, hello, Dinky Doo. Welcome to Scotty McClue, the late night pop-up, saying Dinky Doo to every single one of you. Remember, guys, to start sharing, to tell 10, to tell 10, to tell 10, to tell 10, to tell 10 that Scotty McClue is live on Facebook Live and will pop up. Set your notifications to make sure that you never miss a moment of Scotty McClue. You miss a moment of McClue. You miss a moment of life. Your fox will be missing feeding time, says Kieran Fox. Aha, Kieran, your namesake. He awaits, I say. Lovely little guy. He's usually hanging about. Gordon Elric's on. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us, Gordon. Scotty McClure just saying a very big thank you to every single one of you for such a fantastic program tonight. And of course, we're a little bit early with the program tonight. And then I thought I'd do the late night pop up just to explain to you what a fantastic feedback we have had. Ian Whitelaw's there. Um, you on the sherry, Scotty says Michael Walgram, no, 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 no sherry, I say, just as I am. There we are. That reminds me of a little thing that we used to sing when we were young, just as I am, thine own to be. Excellent stuff. Peter Ewing, welcome, 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 I say, to the Scotty McClure Late Night Pop-Up, just to say hi to every single one of you. Dal McMillan and Ingalls has joined us. Excellent stuff. Peter Dale Nevins has joined. Hello, Peter Dale Nevins. Welcome, 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 everyone, I say. That is terrific. We've been checking out the optimum times for a quick Facebook Live. And uh, normally, as you know, our big show goes out on a Sunday night at 9 o'clock sharp, British summer time, that is. Because remember, this show is international. Remember, it's global. And people are watching around the world as we speak. Hi, Scott. This is Dal McMillan. Hi, Dal. How are you? I hope you are well. Good to hear from you. And all our Facebook friends, now share this, guys. Share and share and share and share and share, just as if it was coming into fashion. Excellent stuff. Uh, if you haven't got a clue, it's time for Dinky Do. Scott McClure says Robert McHardy. Robert McHardy, you're some man. You were around with us earlier. Tremendous. The support has been outstanding, folks. And I can see this show going on to very, very, very great things. There are 7 billion people in the world, roughly. I haven't counted them all. And every single one of them is welcome to watch the Scotty McClue Show live on Facebook Live. Facebook says it's got, uh, is it uh, 1.8 billion, just under 2 billion. Is that right? So there we are. How marvelous. 
would that be if we had two billion viewers to Scott of a Clue? And there's absolutely no reason why not. Nothing to stop us. Paul Sefton's joined us. Crossley Frank, Gary. I always feel you're Gary Frank Crossley. I don't know. Finley Patterson. Dinky do. Lovely to hear from you. Stephen Wearmouth, how are you? It's great to have you with Scotty McClue and the late night pop up just saying Dinky do. Some of us haven't seen each other for a while and that's marvellous. It's great. We're getting a lot of feedback from people saying, haven't seen you for years, Scotty. Say hello to George Maxwell, says Peter Ewing. George Maxwell, Dinky do. You're watching Scotty McClue. We're live on the big one with the late night pop up. Up. How amazing is that? How are you keeping, says Daryl McMillan? Great, Daryl. Fantastic stuff. Yes, in the pink, I say, despite the fact we've been broadcasting. Uh, the Scotty McClure shows are 26 years old uh, next week or the week after, I think it might be, the week after, two weeks' time. Uh, fine, Scotty. How's yourself, says Stephen? Excellent stuff, Stephen Wearmouth. And you're down in the northeast there, aren't you? You're down in the northeast, Stephen Wearmouth, with all the Jodies. So there we go. It's a sea effect, says Robert Hardy. Oh, Robert, it's such a sea effect. I'll tell you that. It's not half a sea effect, but tremendous. I hope you don't mind me popping up again, but I just had to pass on my thanks thanks and my gratitude to every single one of you for your terrific support and as i say guys keep sharing and sharing and sharing i know it's my name above the door but it's your show we are creating something very big something national and international where people can feedback can interact we'll get the messenger sorted out we'll take calls on messenger that sort of thing the only problem i was finding was messenger was cutting off the broadcast when we we're doing it on the other device on the mobile device this is a more solid state device i know the picture's not great but the sound should be fairly good uh way i scotty says stephen we are mouth way i to you man i'll tell you uh have you been at the blade and races today um are we along the scotswood road out to uh, Scott Stake, eh? Uh, I love when I see a pop-up that you're live. Legend in the present, says Paul Sefton. Dinky do, Paul. I know the old fizzog's not the, the greatest thing for you to look at, but there we are. That's the way I am. That's what I look like. No point in trying to change that. So there you go. You'll see some of the old tapes. I'm reading the news on the telly on ITV. Scotty, I didn't hear the show earlier. What's your opinion on the Jacob Rees-Mogg saying there's no need for custom checks at Dover in a no-deal Brexit? Well, we shouldn't be having a no-deal Brexit. You see, we shouldn't actually be having Brexit at all. This is just a few enthusiasts that have got together, told people um, a lot of duff gen and just over half the population, including myself, were taken in by it. And I say, no, 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 no. It's time to dump this Brexit thing because we're argy-bargying for what we already have in abundance. So there you are. And of course, Scotland, uh, the Brexiteers are actually separatists. They're breaking up Britain as we speak. Ireland had uh, a get-together last week, and they are thinking about reunifying. And Scotland, of course, is going independent because economically it's a good thing, not politically. I don't do politics. I don't have anything to do with politics. But economically, we know the case for an independent Scotland is excellent. Margaret Thatcher asset stripped Scotland in 1979 onwards, and it's been asset stripped since. And uh, we need to uh, get the £40 billion plus that gets paid out. We need to hang on to that. By all means, we can help our English neighbours out, but we do need to hang on to that, folks. There you are. It's been an interesting Brexit day in Parliament today, Scotty. Dr. Lee saying Commons must rule the people when it benefits the country as a whole. Common sense coming through at last. I think so. I mean, somebody was saying get rid of the House of Lords, but in actual fact, uh, they were worth their weight in gold when they objected to so much of the Brexit thing. Uh, Mrs. May herself, there's been incredible obfuscation going on for nearly two years since the referendum. There's not a dish washed. There's not a potty emptied. So there you are. And um, I think probably if Brexit does happen, it will be in name only. So there you are. But we certainly don't want to be losing all the wonderful goodwill that's been built up with Europe over the years. Excellent stuff. Uh, what's happening, Scotty boy? Says Brian McMicken. Dinky do to you. 
Uh, Derek Miller says, walk away from the Brexit talks. No deal's better than anything. Teresa uh, Dismay is negotiating. So there you are. Uh, Fit my like. You keep doing the dinky do, Sir Scotty, says Robert Hardy. He's a uh, ur in the east coast of uh, Scotland. Aye, I pop up with a dinky do, Robert Swindy, because there's a good kind of folk watching all the videos and uh, catching up on Facebook and Facebook Live. We meet Scotty McClough, dinky do. So there you go. I sound, I sound as if I should be presenting a Scottish music programme on the BBC. So there you are. Uh, fit my like. I love all that. Fantastic stuff. So guys, it really is basically just a pop-up to say, I'm Scotty McClue. If you're an alien life form from another planet and you've never heard of me, then it's a capital S, a small C-O-T-T-I-E. That's the Scotty, I-E, very important. The McClue, capital M, small C, capital C, L-U-E. That is the McClue, Scotty McClue. I'm the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet. Been broadcasting for around uh, 35 years in commercial broadcasting and 28 years of the Scotty McClue, massive, mighty, megaphoning, interacting with every single one of you and saying dinky do And Nina's are on the water of that. I'll tell you that. So there you are. Uh, you keep doing the dinky doos of Scotty. Of course. Of course we do. Now, uh, if you want to discuss things, then we certainly can be doing that. I'll just move you up a bit. I had uh, several devices running earlier, but we're on to the one device now. Uh, guys, can we have a share point? Can everybody just click share and pop up that Scotty McClue is live now? I'll see what I've got here on the old... Um, Thing. Yes, there we are, Global Broadcaster. Uh, so we've got that going. That's fantastic. And those of you that missed the show earlier, uh, here we are. I'm just, um, just doing a little bit of sharing, folks. If you can all do the same, that would be just tremendous. So there you are. And Scotty McClue, um, it is international. It is global. All of you will know me. I'm just going to share now, guys, actually. I shall share that way, share to uh, a couple of um, pages and a couple of groups. Now, we opened the new Scotty McClue business page this week. So uh, get yourselves involved in that. Get involved at all levels, folks, because we have so much to talk about and so little time to do it in. This is the way ahead for broadcasting. This is the new television. This is the new radio. And I think Scotty McClure should be on the BBC. So there we are. If you're a BBC licensed pair, which a lot of you are, have a serious think about would you like to see Scotty McClure on the BBC and should the BBC senior management be lobbied to put this program on television for half an hour on, say, a Friday night, interactive with the telephones, and we discuss things properly. Should Scotty McClure be appearing on Question Time? Should I be hosting mainstream programs? All these questions, it's up to you, but at the end of the day, these are the questions I think that we should be putting to the BBC. Excellent stuff. I've never put a foot wrong in 26 years, and uh, one, one tiny complaint, which I don't think should ever have been upheld, was upheld and it was tiny. So there you are. It was a, what do we call a moot point? And that's in 36,000 hours of live unscripted broadcasting. What about that? There you go, folks. Right, let's see what we've got here. Uh, where are we sharing and who are we sharing with? Excellent. So I shall do that. Share post now. And uh, that's gone out now. If you can all do the same, that would be terrific. So that's getting shared as we speak. And then I'm going to share to uh, some groups. So what I'll do is I'll share to a group. There we are. That's coming up, and we can let them know that we're streaming live right now. Okay, so that's going on to the Scotty McClue fans. Uh, it's going on to a, a couple of groups there. Live streaming. Let them know we're streaming now. There we are. Uh, Facebook Live. Yes, that's excellent. You can do that Facebook Live streaming. Good, good. So that's going out, and uh, we shall hopefully have some people coming and joining us. Wonderful. So they should be. And uh, a couple more live streamings. You don't want to share to too many groups because, um, you know, otherwise people say, oh, for goodness sake, what is this that we've got? There we go. One there and one to Facebook Live. Excellent. Right. That's gone out. That's all posting. Thank you very much for that. And um, you can just uh, you can come and bear with us. There we are, and we'll do that. 
and that's posting as well so i'll pop that down and that can do its stuff so there we go now what have we got here uh let's see what you guys are saying to it very important good night this is peter ewing good night peter lovely to have you with us martin monaghan johnny strecken d Gourlay, and ed murphy lovely to have you all with us um, I agree with you, Scotty. I do understand Scotland not being happy with Brexit as they obviously voted to remain. But unfortunately, we are one. The UK and the majority of the UK voted to leave. But 100% understand your view, Scotty. Lee, what we've got here, as you know, I'm a great one for, uh, for England and the English people. Never, ever, ever a problem. But I do feel that Scotland has been getting ripped off for far too long now. And we do need to take some money back to Scotland, rejuvenate the economy, and let's get back on our feet. All this, um, you know, austerity and stuff like that, and um, London sucking the life out of the rest of the UK. We can't have it. So there you go. Would you like to have a cup of coffee? Uh, sorry, I'd like to have a cup of coffee with you sometime, Daryl McMillan. I haven't had coffee for 36 years, but I'll have a cup of tea with you, Daryl. That would be wonderful. Would be good, says Louise Sullivan. Yes, the stream's very pixelated on Facebook, says Brian McMeekin. I understand, Brian, yes, there's no doubt about it, but we're going to get better equipment if we can get people to go fund me account and the PayPal account. They're both on Scotty McClue's website. They're 100% secure. If you can spare £2, can you imagine if uh, a couple of thousand people just put in £2, then I can get myself some pretty swish equipment and some serious advertising and let's get this show on the road. So do think about it. If you think, yeah, we're very tight at the moment, we could spare McClue a couple of pounds, then let's do that. As you know, I've put thousands upon thousands and thousands of pounds into uh, into radio over the years but um obviously um i need a bit of a hand sometimes we need a hand and uh, i'm just asking for that scotty the traditional cab drivers in glasgow are going out of business because of tax dodgers thoughts on that says martin monaghan yes there we go don't want to get into mentioning any companies, of course. Yes, definitely agree with Scottish Independence, says Louise Sullivan. Scotty, what's the script with people these days? You think people like to get offended at everything. The people have gone soft. God help us if we uh, ever if we ever get invaded, they'd surrender in minutes. Well, believe it or not, not many people know this, but there was a meeting in uh, 1940, May 1940, and uh, Churchill wasn't the prime minister at the time. And uh, it was the national government that met and they were seriously thinking about surrendering to Germany. And you've got to have at the back of your mind, of course, we had a dreadful regime in Germany at the time. But a lot of people had uh, been cozying up to that regime for about six or seven years. And it was Churchill that decided to fight. But look at the terrific loss of life. And look at the mess. And they won if they would let us keep the Royal Navy and let us keep India at the time. So there you are. What about that little bit of history for you? Good evening, Scotty, says Maggie Burroughs. Hello, Maggie. Thank you, do. Sai James, uh, give us a clue. And if leave won, says Lee Fan. Well, yes, I mean, but uh, the whole thing is we know there was a lot of Duff Jen involved. That that was a big problem. There was uh, people not quite being straight over the whole leave thing because I don't think the leavers expected to uh, to to uh, to um, have the majority in that referendum. And Mr. Cameron, of course, got off his mark fairly sharpish, shall we say? So it's all been a bit of a mess. But I think they should look upon the referendum as advisory. And I think the government should see some common sense and say, no, we did say remain, and I think remain we shall. Let's rescind Article 50, pop back and say, look, we made a mistake. Politicians are so frightened of saying we made a mistake, and people would respect that. So there you are. Uh, so that's what's going on there. Uh, you can trust McClure and all that. I feel exactly the same as you, Scotty. If England voted to remain, and of course Scotland voted, uh, yes, that's right, Scotland voted to remain, England voted to leave, 
Um, and uh, and I think Wales did as well. We need a Churchill running the country these days, a no-nonsense leader or politician, says uh, Derek Miller. Uh, so there we go. Um, yes, I mean, I think we need big, big characters and big people running the show. There's absolutely no doubt about that, guys. Uh, your comments, Ian Pugh has just joined us. If you've just joined us, folks, and you're wondering what on earth's going on, you're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster and first lord of the internet, doing a late night pop-up. I've already popped up tonight, but I wanted to pop up and speak to you guys and thank you for all the wonderful, wonderful feedback that I have had tonight. I've just had a couple of hours of the most incredible feedback. Guys, remember you'll also get the program up on YouTube, Scotty McClue's YouTube channel. Go on and subscribe. Go on to Scotty McClue's Twitter out and uh, follow me. Follow, follow, follow. If you see the name Scotty McClue on any social media, click on it, follow me, and, um, you know, be one of the guys. Get right in there because this show is the one thing in broadcasting that's going places. When did you last see anything on your television or hear anything on your radio that was right up front with you? Yep, interactive. That was for you. Fully interactive. Dinky do. Scotty McClure, I say. Scotty, what do you think about the UK having the lowest unemployment figures for a long time, even though Brexit is taking place, says Lee Fan. I think also you've got to watch how these figures are reported, the Lee. Does it take in people with zero contracts? Does it pay, take people doing um, part-time work? How is it on folk who are on maternity leave? All that sort of thing. What kind of jobs are out there? Everybody's just trying to get by, trying to make do and mend, live hand to mouth. Is that the way that the British man and woman should be living? If we look at the standard of living in Germany, you know, I mean, quite fantastic. So there you are. Uh, so that's what we should be looking at as well. You think, but hold on a minute. Who's running the show here? Who's bringing home the bacon? And I know uh, Scotland's handing away 40 billion pounds so they can stick that in your barnet formula. Uh, now, what else have we got here? Let's hear from you. I say, if you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClure, and we are live on Facebook Live. That's the big one. You'll also get me on LinkedIn. I've got several thousand people on LinkedIn. You've got uh, a few pages. You've got Dinky Doo. You've got scotty McClure.com. Um, you've got uh, all that on Facebook. So look up these pages, the world's top talk show. Look these pages up, the new Scotty McClue business page. Uh, if you want to hire me for anything, feel free to look upon that. And don't panic, don't sort of think, oh my goodness, he'll want a lot of guilt. He'll cost a fortune. We'll do a budget to suit you. All right? The after dinner speaking, all that sort of thing, running the conferences for you, getting big people out of small type corners. We do that. Training for radio and television for, uh, for people. We do that. Um, everything, public relations, marketing, advertising. I'll appear on your commercial. That always sells things. Remember, I've had some of the biggest audiences in the history of British radio. So they are massive, massive audiences. Remember, I've made millions and millions of pounds, helped to uh, to make huge fortunes for media moguls, make them even wealthier than they were before we started. Hire Scotty McClue. That's what it's all about. Dinky do. So there we go. A fabulous track record for you. Bring back McClue, says Robert McHardy. I thank you, Robert McHardy. And I say dinky do to every single one of you. And uh, would you like me to play a wee tune uh, on, the, uh, on the pipe organ just to say hi? What about something like that? Uh, we will give you, we'll give you this one. Um, I've got the pipe organ here. I'm just going to uh, do a little bit more sharing, and then I shall push off because it's your bedtime, folks, and uh, we don't want to be keeping you up. Very, very important. Your, your bedtime is very important. You don't want to be up watching what you're through. Um, all night, fantastic stuff. There we are. Just doing a wee bit of sharing 
And if you want, feel free to do that. You're very, very welcome. We're live now, and um, I'm touching this here. Just about to share on a couple of pages. So I think that's important. And if you can all do the same, that'd be tremendous. Just type, 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 type. I'm watching Scotty McClure live on Facebook Live. Dinky do. So there we are. That's the page coming up. We're sharing now. That's it. Live now. Live. Live now. I'll just pop that in just as a little reminder. And that's gone on to one of the pages. I thank you for that, Dinky do. And um, I'll just share to the other page uh, and let everybody know that we are on. As I say, if you can do the same, that's tremendous. I know we're a bit pixelated, but we're saving up for the camera. So if you've got any spare money, crowdfund me, stick it into PayPal or go fund me. So there we are. If you can do that, that would be terrific. What am I doing here? Onto the other page. There we are. Excellent. Excellent. Live now. Live now. Yep. I'll tell you, I feel like I feel like um, Elliot, Elliot on, um, what was it, uh, what was the James Bond film, which was the one that was all about the media mogul, so there we are, when we had the doctor, you know, uh, the doctor got sent in, was that, um, yeah, the Tomorrow's News Today, so that, what was the name of that film, Pierce Brosnan was James Bond, and it was terrific. So there we go. Right, we've got that. I'm just sharing that. And I'll just do one more share. Uh, share to the group. Let you know. That's fabulous. There we go. And that's on to that one. And um, that's on to that one. Right, that's that. Excellent. Good. And as I say, if you could all do the same, that would be terrific. And then I shall push off out of your road. And uh, let you get on with your evening. Now, uh, what would you like? What would you like, tune-wise, on the uh, on the pipe organ? We'll see what we've got for you here. There we go. That's that. Right. Um, uh, what about this one? Uh, or uh, I'll do this one. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, that's just a, a wee melody for you to finish off the night. So excellent stuff. We'll just see. See, Burroughs has joined us. Fantastic stuff. Lovely to uh, <coughs> pardon me. Had you all with us tonight. What a fantastic program it's been. Do let everybody know, guys. Tell ten, tell ten, tell ten, tell ten that Scotty McClue is live on Facebook Live and uh, is liable to pop up at any time very very important and uh, also spread the word amongst all your groups and all your friends i'm watching scotty McClue live um do click click clickety click and uh, type 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 to type and tap 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 to tap before i go let's have a few hearts please and a few thumbs up debbie sapphire thomas i was worried about you scotty i didn't see you on all day come by the hills scotty says Stephen Weirmouth. Dinky do, Stephen. Christine Garvin's just joined us. Welcome, Christine. Lovely to have you with us. I'm just about to push off and give everybody a wee chance, but uh, it's been tremendous. If you would like the pop-ups, do let me know. So there you are. Get on and send me a wee message. If you're on LinkedIn, get on LinkedIn. Uh, visit the Scotty McClue YouTube channel. Visit the Scotty McClue website. 10 million people have already done that. So you're in very, very good company there. And this show is just going from strength to strength. The real reason for popping up tonight was to say thank you 
Thank you, thank you. Tremendous feedback over the last few hours. It is very, very encouraging. I can only say one thing to you, and that is dinky do. So there we are. Scotty McClue saying good night to you, and we will all meet again very, very indeed. Ta-ra, loves. Take great care of yourselves, and uh, we'll see you soon. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Of wait a zane. Au revoir and a cheerio. I'll, uh, I'll play myself out. Here we go. Right. Are we ready? <laughs> there we go. I'll just do this. That's us. Right. Play myself out now. <laughs> Dinky do. Finishing now. This doesn't like stopping. I'll tell you that. It does not like stopping. It says here, uh, end live video, but oh, it doesn't like to end. So we'll see how we get on. There we go. Ta da, my loves. Night, night, and sleep well. God bless you all. Oh, there we are. <laughs>